Buck Up and Drive is a game that has no intro music and no menu music, and I'm sad. But it is an arcade racer. It's one of those cruising USA likes, you know, like Rad Racer. Uh, it does have some, I guess you could say some procedural generation to it because the, the maps just seem like they just kind of slowly turn left or right totally randomly. Um, it does have a combat focus, which I thought was pretty interesting from a game like this. Um, Road Rash is like, and, a, and there's an actually a more recent version, kind of a spiritual successor or, or inspired by a kind of motorcycle racing game. Which typically those are the ones that you see like combat on, um, kicking and punching from a motorcycle. Not so much, um, you know, what you're about to see here today. <laughs> Let's just say there's a bit of a Tony Hawk twist to it. So we go ahead and get into play. Uh, I'll show you guys the versus mode first. You get, a, you get a good clean taste of what the combat's like. Um, let me see. You know, only have one car. I've, I've been playing this game for for like, you know, probably 10 runs or something like that. And I haven't unlocked any other cars. So I'm just bad. Uh, and you got pick colors, blah, blah, blah. We'll get to some flames. There we go. Looks sexy. Boom. And then player two, uh, you can, this can be remote play if you like, or it could be somebody on the keyboard or somebody on the controller locally. So local or um, uh, Steam remote play. Uh, but no online you know, dedicated or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> we're going to give it a red Ferrari. Perfect. Or for for Ferrero. Uh, time limit. We're going to make this one simple and fast. We'll make it 30, 45 seconds. Blissful Plains. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The Great Pineapple. The Woods. Let's go to the woods. Ready? Here we go. All right. Whoa. So if you're somebody who has... Whoa, crap. How does he do the jump, man? Okay, if you're somebody who has a custom arcade cabinet at home, which I know is probably all of none of you, but one of you might actually, odds are, then this is the kind of game you put in it. It's designed to be played like that. It's got joystick control and one button, and that's it. Come on, you. There we go. Basically, you hold down the trigger. Come on. And then you rotate that shit to the left or to the right, depending on which direction you're facing. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of jank. I won, but it's kind of jank. The controls for the uh, combat, kind of jank. Um, we will not rematch, we're fine. That's all you guys need to see for this part. <laughs> the main game, the endless runner part is not, it is not at all that uh, uh, combat heavy, uh, but there are some combat elements. So let's go ahead and get in. This is where you can select your car. I told you already, I only have one car. I'm sorry. Um, let's see, colors. You have a number of colors you could choose from. There you go, choose a color, no one cares, because you can go to custom design, and you can see I have custom design here, a little bit of JMO there. Just want to throw something on to see how much fidelity I can get out of it. Like, that's pretty good. You know, I, I was thinking it was going to kind of low poly it or something like that. What might have been a cool effect? Um, but no, it's just, uh, you know, it's pretty good in terms of, like, how much detail we get on that. Uh, I made another one also. Um, this one is, uh, let me see, here we go. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's basically just, I just searched for like a waifu uh, for your car. And that's, that's exactly what it gave me. It gave me a waifu on a car. And so I just put this thing on here a number of times. Um, and then it, you open it up in the template that they give you. They give you a folder that just basically gives you all the templates. And then you just open that up and then slap in whatever you like, put it into the game and then bam. So if you want to go with a custom ride, no problem. But that's it for uh, character creator. <laughs> Here we go. There's one song in the game. It's probably like a 30 second loop or something. You can lower the music if you'd like and play some Euro beats, which an achievement told me I was going to do when I lowered the music. I thought that was pretty clever. There's a lot of like little clever uh, inserts from the artist, or from the, well, the artist, really, uh, from the developer. There we go, got him. And you get a hit there. There is that sign we just passed. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. 
just on, on the subject of there's a, there's a bunch of uh, of this person's uh, personality, as you say, kind of injected into this game. Uh, the billboards. The billboards is a great place to start. That fuck you Baltimore sign comes from this old ass commercial. Fuck you, Baltimore. If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're going to find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> if I believe that you're such a stupid motherfucker, you'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. <laughs> shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your tie. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right. We'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike. <laughs> Oh man! So yeah, there's some interesting references in this, uh, and I have to add some respect, some respect for the developer just squeezing this bullshit in to his. Uh, it's almost, I feel like this is a time capsule for this developer. It's like here's all the shit that I thought was hilarious in, uh, in, in 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 this year, right, or in this one ever, and just throw it all into this one game. All right, anyways, anyways, let's get back to it. Let's get the music back on. Let's go. We're going for some scores here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my frames. Ha! <laughs> I bet because of the YouTube's over in the background. Hold on a second. There you go. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. It's just a little frame laggy. My bad. I, just, I thought it was a little smoother than this. My bad. <laughs> Anyways. Where are we at? Let's go to uh, let's go to Ice Cap. Have we gone to the pineapple thing? I think so. Oh, it's great pineapple. It's the, that's the New York City inspired one. The, you know, the pineapple, right? Let me see. Uh, we need scores. We need to do some drifts. We need to, to build up some heat. Some heat. So we can welcome the next phase of the game. Okay. I didn't get anything out of that, did I? <laughs> okay. That's cool. I'm not getting shit. Good. Oh, checkpoint. There we go. Okay. So in the lower left corner, as we make our way to the next area, Rocky Wasteland, uh, I think I want to do it like once. Oh, God, that I do it again. Okay, good. The heat, once we build that thing up, we're going to get a visit from um, from the police. And that's when the next element of, uh, of combat, the next evolution of combat comes into play. There's a couple of different elements. Let me get some tricks going here points because I'm, I'm starving right now for points oh god come on get over there let's grind this rail oh yeah grind this rail oh <laughs> okay hit him oh damn this is so ridiculous i'm just mash i'm just mash the joystick there we go the police whoa got him one bring that shit again bring that shit again let's go oh man mm, come on come on come on be like, fuck well. <laughs> oink, oink. Is that what I said? Oink, oink. <laughs> oh, again, more more of the creator's personality in this. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, man. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. I mean, good time, good time. Are we getting good time? I don't even know. But we have one star. We got to build it up. We got to get some more, uh, some more stars. Ready? And there is a way to jump, and I don't know how to do that yet. Like not with without using a ramp. My heat's going down. There. Oh, shit. Or maybe I hadn't built it back up yet. Come on. Oh damn it. Oh my god, it's so fuck, it's so fucking clunky. Three. Let's do it. One. Oh, got the citations. Missed. I don't think I can charge it. Can I charge him? See. No, I can't. Okay, he his charge overrides mine. Oh, I still made it, right? Did I make it? Oh, oh, fine, 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 fine. Now, did you notice the billboards, right? Every other billboard is just something different, right? We talked a little bit about the fuck you Baltimore one. Well, I also noticed that there were some trans flags and some uh, pride 
uh, so trans prize flag and some pride flags uh, in there. And, you know, no big, but there's a toggle in the options when I was, I was going through it. Whoops. And I was like, why is there a toggle to turn it off? I feel like that should be, that should be something that people would notice. You know, like indie game developer adds option to remove pride flags from game. So I toggled it to see. And I'm just thinking, oh shit, news notes, boy, get them news notes ready. <laughs> <laughs> Much to my surprise. Let's go and switch up my style here. There we go. Ready? Bring out the J Mobile. Wrong. All right, we're looking for obviously billboards. There we go. And as you can see, there's two. A pride flag, pride, pride flag, and a trans pride flag. Oh, yo, boy. Every single one. Every single one. So, while I'm sure this never happened, it's like one of those, like, um, liberal wet dreams, I guess, as the conservatives like to say. <laughs> that somebody bought their game who hates gays and was like, oh, I'm going to turn off all this gay shit. And then went and just pride flags everywhere. They're like, oh, no, the game, right? I'm sure somebody, <laughs> I doubt that's what the creator thought, but that makes me think of those fucking stories. But at the same time, fucking respect, you know, <laughs> that, <laughs> that the feature is even in there, you know, like somebody, somebody could have gone through and turned it off and ended up inadvertently just fucking putting them on every goddamn billboard. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, you get you get a taste of the of the creator's um, personality, and you know, <laughs> and uh, just the kind of uh, a kind of uh, 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 I guess um, not not like not political approaches or anything, but just kind of because I feel like a lot of there's some shit posting in here too, right? As an example, as an example, <laughs> when I go back, we're done playing the game. <laughs> Uh, when I go to how to play, which I did do, it shows it shows all this stuff. Or it shows you how to play, and I was like reading it. Like, Get the highest score possible. Big number, good. Reach checkpoints and time to continue. The green pads make you go faster. Some are also ramps. You can do funny things on the rails. Everything else is bad. Avoid unless you can bonk traffic. Check the available commands while playing. Do too much bonking, and the police shows up. Get rid of the police by bonking them while they try to tackle you. <laughs> And then there's a rival system, which you guys haven't seen. Uh, we might have more fast than they do. This is how you get new cars. And this one right here, choose, choose you partake in ancient art of karate. And then it says, I came up with this while I was in the shower. Cut me some slack. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have to imagine this person just threw this thing together. And it wasn't something that took, you know, five, six years of like development. So someone just like got a wild hair up their ass, like, oh man, I got this great idea for a game. Let's add like a Tony Hawk element to like uh, a rad racer with a little bit of a hot pursuit kind of sprinkled in there. Uh, and then just put all kinds of shit all over it. Like, you know, like re references to old ass memes and uh, a fucking pride toggle that just it turns everything into pride. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's, it's, this is an interesting title, but perfect, 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 perfect. If you're somebody that for some reason has a custom arcade, uh, box or frame or whatever cabinet that you want to put uh, a game in and you want to make it a dedicated one. Hey, this might be for you. So that's it. $7.99 on Steam. You can check it out right now. My name is Mike P. A.K. Phony. Buck up and drive. I'll see you.